Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on spring stiffness. So we already know that the stiffness of the spring is actually the resistance offered by this elastic body, the spring, to any sort of deformation. Right? And we are denoting spring stiffness by a small s. In certain books, you will find that it is denoted by k. Both the notations are correct. You have to ensure that you continue with only one notation to avoid any sort of confusion. So there are four questions given in which you have to find the equivalent spring stiffness. Right? When a system has got more than one springs, then the stiffness and its effect, the kind of resistance offered, it varies for different systems. And the values of spring stiffness for two springs, let's say wherever it is written S1 is 5 Newton per mm, S2 is 8 Newton per mm. And the mass which is being suspended is given as 10 kilogram for first, second and third cases. So in first case, we see that a mass is simply connected, is suspended to a spring. In second case, we'll see that the mass is suspended at the bottom of two springs and these two springs S1 and S2, they are in series. And in third case, we see that mass is fixed between two springs. So in first case, when mass is suspended from a spring, so spring constant remains same as that as there is only one spring, right? And we know the formula for the natural frequency, which is 1 upon 2 pi and root S, that is the spring constant upon M. So we know all the values, we place them and this is the answer that we get. Now in second case, we see that there are two springs S1 and S2 which are connected in series and then there is a mass attached to this uh, combination of uh, springs in series. So in this case, what will happen if there is some deflection taking place in mass M, so that will be equal to the deflection of springs S1 and S2. So we know the formula for deflection which is mg and of course for both all the three systems that means S1 and S2 and m the spring force will remain the same. So spring force is what mg is equal to S into delta right. If we say that uh, delta is the deflection that is taking place in the system. So the deflection whatever is there for this mass is equal to sum of deflections of S1 and S2. So the formula becomes mg upon S is, which is the equivalent spring stiffness is equal to mg upon S1 plus mg upon S2. Now mg of course it's common it gets cancelled out. We know what is S1 we know what is S2. You can find the value of the equivalent spring stiffness. And again, the formula for the natural frequency is 1 upon 2 pi under root S upon M. So in this case, S is what? 40 upon 13. We place the value and get the answer. Now, the third part says that the mass is fixed in two springs. So what exactly happens? Whatever is the deflection, it will be same for both these springs. Because if you visualize, if you try to visualize, if mass M is going in this direction, let's say some deflection is taking place. So the equivalent deflection is taking place in S2 and the same deflection is taking place in S1. So deflection will remain same. So S delta, that is the deflection for whole system, is equal to the deflection of S1 and deflection of S2. So S1 delta plus S2 delta. So of course deflection for the whole system it remains same so it is S is equal to S1 plus S2 which is 13 Newton per mm and you place the value in the formula of natural frequency so you will get the answer. Now the fourth question is a bit different question it says that there is a hinged rigid bar of length L right so the total length of this bar is L and it is hinged at certain point O right and it is connected by two springs which is subjected to force F at this point C so we have to find the equivalent spring constant and what the question is trying to say that when this force F is being applied at this point C the system or the rigid bar it undergoes certain angular displacement and that angular displacement is very small which is equal to angle theta. So we have to find the equivalent spring stiffness, right, which will be 
relate which will be caused because of this applied force and it will cause certain displacements now if we try to visualize this when this small angular displacement is taking place right theta so the linear displacement if we say that there are two points a and b which are connected to the springs the fixed ones so what will happen this point a or the first spring of spring constant s1 will undergo certain linear deflection which is x1 and the second one will go linear deflection which is x2 and the whole system it is undergoing some linear deflection which we are denoting by x so if we take because uh, the angular displacement is small so if we take the moments about this point o so it will be s1 x1 so this is equal to what this is equal to the force the restoring force right so s1 x1 which is acting in the direction opposite to that of the application of force so force is in this direction so the restoring force will act in the opposite direction so it will be s1 x1 into l1 which is distance of point a from this o hinged point right plus the second spring that is s2 x2 into l2 which is equal to this whole moment created because of this force f so it will be f into the total distance or the total length of the bar which is l right so if we take f at one end and if we divide the whole equation by l this is what we get and we know that the force which is being exerted on this whole uh, rigid bar it's equal to spring stiffness into displacement so spring stiffness is what it is k equivalent s equivalent for the whole system right we are denoting it by s so it's s equivalent for whole system and x is what x is the displacement for the whole system right so this is the equation that we get now we also know that for small angular dis, uh, displacement x1 will be equal to what l1 which is this length from a to o into theta x2 will be l2 into theta and x will be l into theta so if we replace in this equation these three values right so the equation becomes f is equal to equivalent spring stiffness into x which is the displacement linear displacement of the whole uh, this bar is equal to s1 what is x1 x1 is l1 theta into l1 upon l plus s2 into x2 which is l2 theta into l2 upon l right now what is this this is equal to k s equivalent into x so if we take x from this side into denominator and x is what l theta right so l will become x upon theta so whatever x which is coming from here so when it comes to, to denominator so this is x here and one x here so x upon theta will become l right x upon theta here also will become l so the equation becomes for the equivalent spring stiffness it becomes k1 into sorry s1 into l1 upon l whole square plus s2 into l2 upon l whole square so this is the equivalent spring stiffness for this rigid bar